How do I know if I'm hurting myself when I'm screaming? That's a question I get all the time. And what you do want is say when you're doing a false chord scream, <coughs> is to feel a little bit of vibration right here at the top of the larynx where the false chords actually are. And when you're doing a fry scream, you'll feel a difference in vibration, but you'll kind of feel it in the same place you feel everything else when you're singing and speaking whatever, because that is where the fry scream's being done. It's just vocal cord based. This is where it gets weird because we can't really feel the voice that well. We're using the surrounding areas to be able to tell if we're hurting things or not generally, but with screaming, we're actually using those same spots on purpose to manipulate things and get the sound to come out a certain way. So that's gonna raise a lot of red flags in the body. Ah, stop, something's wrong. Especially when you're newer at this, or even if you're just trying to work on yourself and work on your screams, that can be so confusing. That's why I end up getting questions like this all the time. And speaking of questions, I am doing a much bigger Q&A video right now, and I need your questions for it. So if you have any questions about screaming, vocal, stuff about me, anything, leave those questions in the comments here. That video will be done soon. Little bits of that itchy, scratchy, irritated feeling is normal when you're just starting out and your body's still getting used to it. And you can feel like that just from being tired as well. But if that becomes every time you're screaming, and if that graduates into being like a burning sensation, then you wanna be careful because that means there's an imbalance somewhere within the way that you're screaming and you wanna work on that because if left unchecked, that's where it can become a little more long-term damage. And you can tell stuff like that is starting to happen injury-wise if you're having just difficulty making any noise at all. That's singing, speaking, screaming, all of it, not just one thing. And feeling like difficulty breathing, interruption in your speaking voice, like bits of your voice that are just gone, interruption, that kind of stuff. If you're worried you've hurt yourself, the first thing you need to do is speak to or see a medical professional if you can. And then, and only then, Seek out a vocal coach that specializes in screaming that can help you to rebalance the sounds you're making in all of the ways that you can and get you the help that you need. And to do that with me, do this.